Hello students, I am Liji. I am your biology teacher. I hope that you all are doing well at your home. Stay home and stay safe. Okay. Well, before starting the chapter, you just look at the picture in your textbook. Page number is 7. Okay, in this picture you can see a girl is sitting under the mango tree and she is tasting a sweet mango. A boy is there, boy is touching a snail and the snail withdraws its body into the shell. The birds fly away on hearing the sound. Another girl is there, the girl is, that girl is washing her face with cold water. And there is a butterfly is there and the butterfly is attracted towards the smell of the flower. So in this picture, all are experiencing different types of senses. All are experiencing different types of senses. To what factors they are responding? They are responding to the senses. They are responding to the senses. The girl is responding to taste. She gets sweet taste. Then the snail is responding to responding when it is touched. So Snail is responding to touch. The birds fly away on hearing the sound. And a butterfly is there. It is responding to smell. Another girl is there. She is Responding to the coldness of the water. So all are experiencing different types of senses. So in this chapter, sensations and responses, we are going to discuss about different types of senses, to what factors they are responding and what is the mechanism behind this and which system controlling all these activities. Okay. So our first chapter is Sensations and responses. Okay. First chapter is sensations and, and responses. Okay. You know we have five sense organs which are they our eye, our nose, our tongue, our ear, our skin. Okay, we have five sense organs uh, through our eye. We can see through the nose, we can smell through tongue, we can taste through the skin, we can feel the touch. Okay, we have five sense organs. Okay, we already uh, discussed about that picture. That is the organisms and the children. All are experiencing different types of senses. They are responding to the senses. So there is a relationship. So there is a link between the senses and the and their response. So there is a relationship between senses and their responses. The senses that evoke responses in an organism are called stimuli. The senses that evoke responses in an organism are called stimuli. Okay, you look here. The birds fly away. Why? The birds fly away on hearing the sound. The birds fly away on hearing the sound. The snake withdraws its body into the shell when it is touched. So, the taste, touch, sound, smell, cold, etc. These are example for stimulus. Okay, these are example for stimulus. So, we get stimulus only from the surrounding? Yes or no? Okay, I will, uh, I will give you some examples. Okay, I will give you two examples. Hunger and thirst. The hunger, thirst, these are also stimulus. They are produced inside our body. These are also 
stimulus they are produced inside our body so we can classify the stimulus into two types which are they first one is external stimulus external stimulus external stimulus and the second one is internal stimulus external stimulus and internal stimulus and the external stimulus they are produced outside the body or they are produced outside the produced in, uh, in the surroundings produced in the surroundings and the internal stimuli they are produced inside our body examples are Examples for the external stimuli are taste, touch, sound, smell, cold, heat, etc. And example for internal stimuli are number, uh, hunger, thirst. Okay. Okay. I am giving you a work for you. Okay. You write in a tabular column the external stimulus and internal stimulus and try to find out more example for both. Okay, try to find out more example for external stimulus and for internal stimulus. Okay, so we discussed the term stimulus and my question is how our body receive the stimulus? How our body receive stimulus or how our body receives such internal and external stimulus? Any guess? Okay, I will help you. Uh, you just imagine. In a reception or in a party, there is a committee called reception committee. What is their function? Their function is to receive and identify the guest. Their function is to receive and identify the guest. Likewise also, in our body, inside our sense organs, inside our sense organs, there are specialized cells called receptors. There are specialized cells called receptors. Their function is to receive and identify the stimulus. Their function is to receive and identify the stimulus. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, inside, okay, our eye. Inside our eye, there are photoreceptors are present. Inside our eye, photoreceptors are present. What is their function? Their function is to identify and receive the light. Identify and receive the light stimulus so that we can see the things. Okay? We can see the things only because the photoreceptors, they will identify and receive the light stimulus. Okay? Next example is our tongue. Okay, inside our tongue, there are chemoreceptors are present. Okay, these chemoreceptors have to distinguish different types of tastes with uh, sweet, so salty, etc. So Inside our tank, there are specialized cells are present. It is called chemoreceptors. The chemoreceptors will help to identify and distinguish different types of tastes. Okay. These are the two examples. So, in every sense organ, in every sense organ, there are whatever, you know, eye, our nose, our tank, our ear, our skin. In every sense organ, there are specialized cells called receptor cells. This receptor cell will identify and receive the stimulus so that we can feel, so that we can uh, see the things, so that we can see, uh, so that we can taste, we can smell, we can feel touch. All this because in all the sense organs there are specialized cells called receptors or receptors or receptor cells. What is their function? Their function is to identify, identify and receive stimulus. Identify and receive stimulus. 
okay so we discussed about the receptors and the, what is their function identify and receive the stimulus okay they uh, the speciality of the receptor is their function and distribution is also different their function and distribution function distribution is also different for example the chemoreceptors what is their function they help to uh, help to know the taste of the food the chemoreceptors help to know the taste of the food so the uh, function of the chemoreceptors uh, fu function of the chemoreceptors is to know the taste of the food and the distribution the chemoreceptors they present only inside our tongue the chemoreceptors they present only inside our tongue okay okay if we put some food in our skin what will happen whether we can taste it never what is the reason because our skin don't have any chemoreceptors our skin there is no chemoreceptors the chemoreceptors they present only inside our tongue so we can taste the food only when we put the food in, uh, inside our tongue so the function and distribution of the receptors are different okay for the uh, this is one example is chemoreceptor the function is to know the taste of the food distribution the present inside only present inside only the mouth okay in our inside our tongue okay so their function distribution is also dif uh, different uh, uh, another you can put another examples also okay uh, the photoreceptors the present well, well, the photoreceptors they present only inside our eye okay we can see the things only with our eye why the photoreceptors they present only inside our eye so that we can see the things likewise the chemoreceptors they present they present only inside our tongue so we can taste okay each in each sense organ different types of receptor cells are present and their function distribution is so is also different okay we already said that the receptors will identify and receive the stimulus and what is their next function after receiving the stimulus the next their next function is to generate generate suitable impulses the receptors after receiving the stimulus they generate suitable impulses according to the received stimulus and this impulses will reach our brain then only the response will occur they will reach the brain then only the response will occur okay okay i will give you example how you feel when someone touch you okay okay when someone touch you the receptor cells in your skin get stimulated the receptor cells in your skin stimulated they they produce suitable impulses and this impulses will run and they will reach the brain okay when they reach the brain then only you feel you touch okay there are, uh, inside our skin there are specialized cells are present called receptor cells the receptor cells get activated and they uh, get stimulated and they produce suitable impulses these impulses will reach the brain then only we know that is someone touch us okay someone touch us okay so you uh, you i think you identify the things the receptors they will identify and receive the stimulus and uh, they produce suitable impulses this impulses will reach our brain then only the response will occur okay so there is a great system so there is a great system to control all these activities 
control all these activities that great system is called nervous system okay what is that nervous system okay there is a great system to control all the activities to control the stimulus to control the receptors to control the impulses okay that great system is called nervous system okay this nervous system is also like all other system when you studied earlier there is our respiratory system also like our respiratory system like our um, circulatory system etc nervous system is also very important all these activities get controlled by the nervous system okay now we are going to discuss in detail about our nervous system okay the nervous system consists of mainly three parts they are brain first one is the brain second one is the spinal cord and third one is, one is nerves our nervous system consists of mainly three parts brain spinal cord and nerves you all know about the brain the brain which is the most important part in the nervous system it is protected inside the skull the next one is spinal cord as the continuation from the brain there is a rod like structure is present it is called spinal cord the spinal cord is pro uh, protected inside the vertebral column then the third one is the nerves the nerves um, the nerves they are arising from both the brain and and the spinal cord the nerves are arising from both brain and spinal cord in the case uh, from the brain there are 12 there are 12 uh, cranial nerves are present in the case of spinal cord there are 31 spinal nerves are present okay the nervous system consists of mainly three parts brain spinal cord and nerves and this uh, three together constitute the nervous system uh, the nerves they connect the brain spinal cord and the different body parts okay uh, they produce impulses they uh, transmit the impulses between the brain spinal cord and different body parts the nerves they transmit impulses between the brain spinal cord and different body parts okay it is the nervous system okay what is the fundamental unit of the nervous system like all other system the fundamental unit of the nervous system is also a cell this cell is called nerve cell this cell is called nerve cell and the name is neuron okay and the name is neuron this neuron is also like all other cells it is also like all other cells like all other cells it have cytoplasm neuron have cytoplasm it have cell membrane it have nucleus but there is a difference between the neuron and other cells this neuron have small and short filaments coming out from their cell body small and short filaments coming out from their cell body okay okay that's all about the neuron in the next class we will discuss in detail about the structure of the neuron okay so in this class we discussed about uh, the senses and uh, uh, stimuli, different types of stimuli, external stimulus, internal stimulus and the receptors, the receptors help to identify and receive the stimulus and they produce impulses and we studied about the nervous system and, the, uh, and then we studied about uh, the neuron, okay. I hope that you all understood today's class, okay, thank you, thank you students.